How far out do I need to bring this to where it looks the same size as the black cat truck? We got ourselves a convoy, rubber ducky. Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Brigzar. You're home for vintage Lego, and we got something here. You know what is weird for me is that this set, this is set 5580's highway rig, model team set. Love the model team thing, but what's weird for me is that this came out the year that I graduated high school, and yet most of, <laughs> a lot of you probably weren't even born yet, and it's like I don't, I don't feel any different than I did when I was 17 years old. <laughs> Actually, I do feel differently. Uh, but here, I like to... I try to think the same way. I just feel old. Uh, but anyway, the, and this set is old. And it, it also feels old. Uh, but it's a great great set for the era uh, of 1986. So I'm going to let you look at this. I actually pieced this together. I had a checklist. Oh, my checklist is over here. That I printed out. And it's got the date on it. It has the, the so for whatever reason, when I would print stuff out, it would print the time at the bottom. It's one of those settings on the printer. I printed this out in September second, two thousand seven, at uh, six twenty one p.m. That's actually before I created my YouTube account. <laughs> and so uh, I began this project fifteen years ago. I actually pieced it together pretty quick. And then I just now built it. So yeah, so it's a it's a really great truck. It's it's not, I don't objectively I think this one's way better. That one is way bigger. Uh, I'll bring them down here and do a comparison. But um, then we'll also do a haul. I got a haul that is way more boxes than it needs to be. There's one, two, three. There's like six boxes. <laughs> but let me show you the big rig, highway rig, whatever it's called set first. I love the black cat truck. This thing is um, beautiful in my eyes, even though I got some yellowed bricks. I don't think those were yellowed when I pieced it together. I probably did piece this together back in 2007, 2008. Probably did some brick link orders to get things that are exclusive to this set, like the printed pieces on the doors and these printed pieces here on the side of the engine. That's a special printed piece. You did have a sticker sheet. Um, so it had a couple of stickers for the license plate, the MC5580. One of them is on a 1x8 brick. And what I actually did is I ordered a couple of 1x6 bricks that had the 5580 on the center. These were actually one of them. And I used the uh, hot tea method <laughs> to get the sticker off of the 1x6 and transferred it to this 1x8 that it's there. And then I, the other one was in the correct orientation, mostly the in the back there's the one by six it was actually cheaper doing it that way than getting the one by eight that had it placed in the right place um so yeah that's the stickers emerald knight emerald knight was in my way but anyway at the, at the time that i pieced this thing together light gray was still abundant it wasn't an old color i mean we're oh man 18 years since light gray was made so you know, the, the more time we get away from 2004, the harder and harder it is to find light gray parts. You know, today it's light bluish gray. So it wasn't that difficult to piece together. I think most of the parts here are relatively common at that time. Although if you were to do it today, it might be a little bit harder uh, to piece together. Uh, you got a lot of these these wheels. I did find some errors that I made in the inventory, like these... Uh, bushings have the the little grooves on them. I had some that were smooth all the way around, so I had to go find some more in my collection. Um, some of the parts are yellow. Those are not light bluish gray, I don't think. I think they're just gray parts. Some are yellowed, some are not. Uh, the neat thing is this hood opens and reveals the engine. Um, <laughs> it's got kind of a space feel to it. The diesel engine got those little hoses uh, going in there. For that you got a little gear there on the front it doesn't really do anything uh, but i just think it's neat that the the hood opens up i think these are supposed to be the uh, windshield wipers as they knock off this antenna on the front uh, we got our headlights there's the hinges that make the hood open up 
got a very scratched windshield so i probably could do better or i could do some kind of treatment to get the scratches off of that windshield might try to do that at some point but it, it's got this well-loved look to it uh, what's it look like on the inside the inside i can't remember if this opened up i mean the door is open but i can't remember it's be easier with two hands oh yeah <laughs> there's like no leg room <laughs> in here it's kind of sad actually so at some point i stopped recording i actually finished my video as far as the review <laughs> Now I've got to go back and try to remember what I said. So I was think I was talking about the, um, the interior here. We got the little console. This is the other side of the truck. Those are hinge hinges there. I don't even know if those are the right one. I wonder if I probably should have used solid studded hinges. They make two different varieties of it. It's one of those things I didn't notice the difference at the time when I was piecing it together, but I certainly noticed it when I was building it. Uh, but anyway, so that's the inside. Not a lot going on there. We got a train window back here. I guess this is where the sleeping area would be back there in the back. Got our fuel tank storage there. I don't know a lot about trucks. I think that's a rear view mirror right there. We got our exhaust, our mufflers. I think this is my favorite thing about it though. The spare tire is actually steering. <laughs> Take that out. You can turn it, turn the wheel. You can steer it. So this, even though it's a model, this is a display piece for the most part. It does have some play features with it like that. So that's pretty cool. And then another little feature is that it's almost like it's got suspension. Like when you lift the tires, the, the truck up. Yeah, like you do that in real life. <laughs> it's like it's got a suspension. It's got a turntable there to attach a trailer did not come with a trailer they did not make one for this particular truck there are other model team trucks that have trailers i have one of them we did a review of a while back uh, but this one did not i have seen people make their own custom semi trailers for this interesting thing about this truck is i've seen trucks that have a similar look to it out in the real world over time but um uh, yeah that's the model team truck set 5580 came out in 1986 took me 21 years from then to start piecing it together and then it took me a further 15 years to get around to building it and showing it to you. So, so yeah after all these years i finally built this model team truck where does the time go how is it how's this 36 years old i just i can't believe it oh and i should say that um here's the instruction manual for it um, shows the model it does come with an alternate build and the interesting thing here is like with the instructions for this for the main build it gives you the little like what pieces you need for each step but when you get to the alternate build where is it yeah it doesn't do that it doesn't show you what pieces you need for each step but i have a bag of extra parts some of these are possibly from when I didn't do it right, but there are a few that are definitely needed for the alternate build. Uh, for instance, there's um, these one by two inverted slopes. You need like four of them for the alternate build, whereas you only need two for the main build. So that's another thing. If you, if you build some of these model team sets or vintage sets, and you get done, you might have leftover parts, not because of them Doing like Lego does today where you just have extra parts. It was because you needed them for the alternate build. So that's the case with this one. So yes, the Black Cat, definitely a better truck. I don't think, I don't think you can argue it. It's bigger, but this one's so charming. I love it. It's great. And I'm, I'm pleased with both of these. I'm probably not going to store this like this but i was surprised it actually fits on the shelf right next to this so i'll leave it here for now don't know how long i'll leave it there yeah this wasn't supposed to happen uh, we'll get to the haul portion of this but i think actually this this is actually for trains are this from connor for trains are and i think this is oh all right let me open this up this is not lego related I'm not used to this coming in another shipping box. Um, 
But if you don't know, on my original channel, Jabo37, I review the Curiosity Box. It's not a um, sponsored thing. I buy these. I've been buying them since day one. These are by the Vsauces. I like science. It's one of my things. So this is, I get this, uh, what do you call it, quarterly subscription. You get one every three months, four times a year. And so that's the winter box. No, take it back. That's the spring box. I apologize. I, I did... I, I did the win. I did the winter box in the spring because I was slow about publishing the video. But um, so that's not Lego. So let's get okay. The rest of this is Lego, I think. So it's way too many boxes. Let's start with the small box here. I think some of these only have one item in them, so it's taking up a lot of space. I got to open these boxes up and break these boxes down. And uh, yeah, that great big box is for this worn out hat i don't i'm not much of a hat person oh my goodness i can't even oh let's see if i can open this up a bit i got a i got a big head not that it's because i'm smart but because it's uh oversized um but now i'm officially a vip uh spaceman i don't know what it is with the um the grunge uh, worn out look of these uh, hats. I guess that's some kind of style. I think it was a Tommy Hilfiger or one of those stores. I had a job at the mall. I don't shop at those stores, but I was, it was back when I used to do regular phone work. Or not regular phone works. It was still special services, but I was at one of those designer <laughs> designer shops in the mall. And the, ki the, the, the kids, the, the people that work there, um, anyway, they, I had to go through uh, the area where the shopping was. I didn't come in through the back. I came in through the front. So they led me back to the where the equipment was. But I'm going back and they got all these clothes, like jeans with holes in them. I'm like, I got teased for that. Uh, not that it bothered me. I mean, we had holes <laughs> in our clothes. And now it's the style. So now it's, it's cool to have a worn out hat. I don't like hats. Why did I, it, was, it was basically free as a VIP thing. Um, all right, so these four, three are also from Lego Shop at Home. So that was free. Uh, you know, when you, you order um, VIP, you redeem your points, you have to buy something. You can't just get it. So interesting Lego. Now, you know what? I wasn't even thinking about that when I unboxed it. You won't let me redeem my hat alone. I have to buy something to redeem it. I bought something that was pre-ordered. You still sent me the hat you know, in a separate box. You could have shipped me the hat. You could have shipped me the hat. So I hate your VIP program, but I still I'm a, I hate the way you, it, it could be good, but uh, I hate the way you do it. All right, uh, oh, all right. so this is one of the Star Wars dioramas. I pre-ordered it. I did pre-order it when you could get another gift. It wasn't this gift, I don't think. I think it, that I pre-ordered with something else. Uh, so this is the X-Wing. Um, yeah, so we got the X-Wing. Let's see what this one is. I think I should have another diorama in here. Uh, I don't like the price of these. I think, I wonder, I wonder if this is the other one. It looks like the right size. Nope, it's not. All right, so this one is this. I think I just, I wanted to get the free Technic set. So you had to buy Speed Champions or something. And Jacob, my son, he they might be bricks. He had seen this at Walmart. And then I said, okay, I'll get it. But I got it through Lego with the free um, set. That's a good, I like those kind of promotions. I mean, it's not super exciting, but... It's an incentive, and keep. I like it when Lego does stuff like that. So yes, I don't complain all the time, just most of the time. This is another ginormous box. All right, and so this one, yeah, this is the other diorama, which is the um, Yoda's hat. I collect Yodas, uh, much like Sands, Gutter Chicken. Uh, so notice I only got two of the dioramas. The third one is just like way too expensive. 90 bucks and there's a free chick chicken set in there uh, with that. Yeah, the, the 
I, I really want the um, the trash compactor, but the trash compactor looks like it should cost like what this one costs, but it costs 90 bucks. I paid too much for those too, I think, but they did come with free things. So I may get the trash compactor as during the, the um, May the 1st, May the 4th, May the 1st, May the 4th promotions. So that, that might be something I'll do. And so one more thing. So all those boxes have really condensed down to a lot less space. Yeah, that takes up a lot less space. We got one more. This is from eBay, I think. What did he get from eBay? Oh, oh, I was dangerous with the um, cutters there. I didn't know it was a box set. I collect boats with the motors. <laughs> wow, it's got the, uh, the box. It's a bad condition box, but um, it's got the, what does it say on here? Super motor, not just any motor, it's the super motor. So the motor we had before was yellow. This one is orange. They're probably the same, just a different color. So that is that. So that's the haul. Got to break down those boxes. Uh, what's your favorite thing that I got? Um, mine will probably be be Yoda's hut and the boat. Pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, that thing does not like to stand up. Got that all now taking up a lot less space. My oh, by the way, my box is smashed. Um, we shouldn't be surprised about that, should we? All right, I'm going to go. I don't wear hats. I'm a man without a hat. <laughs> I love men without hats. It's, just, you know, safety dance. Wait, how does the... I've done it before. Wait. you got to make like an S. Safety dance. Okay, i got to go.